apply this as much as possible. So I'm going to leave it to you to apply the. You don't need any of these now. You just need to apply the formula. So go for it. So we have the sine of x plus pi over 4. This is equal to sine of x times the cosine of pi over 4 plus, because it's plus here, sine of pi over 4 times cosine of x. Now, cosine of pi over 4 I know, sine of pi over 4 I know, sine of x I don't know. I can't do anything with that. So, this is still going to be the sine of x. What's the cosine of pi over 4? Radical 2 over 2. What's the sine of pi over 4? Square root of 2 over 2. And then I can't do anything with the cosine of x. It's still going to be the cosine of x. So this is one possible answer. You could also say this is the square root of 2 over 2 times the sine of x plus the cosine of x. And I don't remember how WebWork does this, but my guess is it probably says a times the sine of x plus b times the cosine of x, and you're supposed to fill in a and b. So that it actually, if there's nothing it can do, it might actually be able to help you do that part. Just because it can't, it can't have it calculate things with x's. All right, now let's move on to the cosine one. Now we're going to do this one together mainly because the cosine is slightly different. So. Here we have the cosine of x minus pi over 2. This will be a different formula because it's a cosine of two angles added together. What did the cosine formula have at the beginning of it? Do I need to go back? Okay, hang on, I gotta go back a couple of screens.
probably not, but you probably, we did have them officially, which always said that, for instance, the cosine of 90 minus the angle is equal to the sine of the angle. Now notice here the 90 and the pi over 2 are switched and the, the minus is switched, but remember our cosine is an even function, so if I have the negative of what's in here, it's the same thing as having the positive of what's in there, so these two things matched up. So, by the way, if you don't remember that part, it's okay. I just thought I'd mention that you've seen this concept before, it's just been a while. Where are we now? Now. Here's the problems that are the more standard problems that we can give you, and it's like, it's common that you get these in your homework, in your test, and on your written work, if you have any on this stuff. Because these are the ones where we can ask you the questions, and there's no way you can use your calculator to do it. Some of the other ones, you can use your calculator to figure it out. Here, you actually find out, do you understand the concept? So I'm told you're going to have to find exact values for some things. You know that the cosine of the angle alpha is 3 over 7, and that alpha is in quadrant 4. And that the sine of angle beta is 4 over 5, and beta is in quadrant 2. So, we want to find the cosine of alpha plus beta. So let's start with the formula that we're going to need. The cosine of alpha plus beta, according to the cosine sum formula, what will this be? Forget the numbers, just plug in the alpha and the beta part. Cosine alpha. Cosine alpha. Times the cosine of beta. Minus. Minus. Sine of alpha. Sine of alpha. Uh, sine of beta. Times the sine of beta. Now, what we need to be able to do is plug a number in for cosine of alpha, plug a number in for cosine of beta, plug a number in for sine of alpha, and plug a number in for sine of beta. Do I have all those numbers given to me? Which ones do I have? Cosine of alpha is given, so that one I've got. What else do I have? Sine of beta, that one's given, so I've got that. I have to find cosine of beta and sine of alpha. Suggestions for how to do that? What? Draw a triangle. Yeah, draw a triangle. Anytime you gotta find something, draw a triangle. How many triangles do I need to